Home Low and it's Spark 6101 here and as you can see I'm deciding to put a new let's play on my channel and I guess you can guess by the title we're gonna be playing some Tokyo Jungle this has got to be on my top five favorite game list for at least this year because I don't know what it is about this game it's just so wacky and weird and I love it so without ado let's get started So, we're gonna start off with a tutorial, just to get a feel of the game, how it's gonna be like, and I'll, I'll let you watch this little intro. So, as you can see from that little intro we got there, there's no more humans in Tokyo. So, all that's left is animals that were left there by humans. And that's what make this, makes this game so unique. I mean, you're playing as an animal, what more can you ask for? Don't know, it's a wolf. I tried this out in survival, you can, t I could take that wolf on. But the tutorial isn't gonna let you. You're gonna have to sneak. And I'm horrible at stealthiness. If I ever decide to do the story mode, uh, I don't even want to because there's these stealth missions that are just so. Uh, and I can never get them right on the first try. My videos will have lots of cuts in them. So we're gonna have to get to that car over there by sneaking in tall grass where animals can't see you. Oh no. Alright, that wasn't too bad. The tutorial is kind of lenient with you to be honest. I mean, it is a tutorial. So now, anyone who loves cute fuzzy animals, specifically rabbits, please do not look. Because this is where the game gets brutal. So it's a rabbit, right? And I'm a cat. But there's no pet food. So in the law of Tokyo Jungle says I have to kill the rabbit. And the way the game just designs it, it's so cool. So as soon as that little, those bite marks turn red, I press R1 and I kill the rabbit. Like so. And then you eat him. Hold him circle, by the way, you can pick them up if you're strong enough. Beagles. Beagles in this game, I hate them so much. Because they, their defense is just so high and they'll just kill me every single time. So I'll try to avoid them. And when you're playing as a beagle, it's not nearly as fun as if a beagle were to come and kill me. But we're going to take on this hyena. Which in the real world, that hyena would totally kill me. I love the style of combat in this game, it's just amazing. So this is going to tell us how to counter attack, which is also pretty cool. Like so. And I can also bite him back for being such a jerk. I thought it was a pretty cool mechanic in this game. Oh, 
So the game is trying to bump up the difficulty, even though it's not really working. Or we have to kill three hyenas. But it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, it's pretty easy. It's kind of like the story mode. They kind of dumb things down a little bit. Instead of challenging you. Survival is more of the challenging part of this game. And now we move on to the grazers. Just so peaceful. So with a grazer, you're going to have to do a lot more stealth since you're not that good a fighter. But if you love to fight and just kill everything in your path, then choose a carnivore. It doesn't show here, but I could actually kick that wolf in the face if I wanted to. But again, in tutorial, they're not going to show you all those things. In survival, that's when everything gets bumped up. Now this part, this is a total lie. Just watch what's gonna happen. So I'm running away from this hyena, right? And I'm just gonna step into the grass. The tall grass where they can't see you, right? And look how close this hyena comes. And he can't see me. If this were survival, I'd be dead. So, tutorial, yeah, too easy. So at this part of the game, this is what survival is going to throw you into. It's going to be a little bit like this. So now, basically, it's trying to tell you to use all the skills we just learned and complete this challenge. So we have to mark these four points in Shibuya Station, which is the always the area that you start in survival mode. You never change it, which is kind of eh, but you know what, I'll just take it. It's fine. We don't have to start at different parts of the map. Shibuya Station is where it's at. We also have to continue to eat because later on, we're going to need all these calories, and you'll see why in a second. Let's keep on this gazelle. Normally gazelles wouldn't be in Shibuya Station, they would be elsewhere. Shibuya Station is kind of like where the bunnies and the chickens and chicks hang out. So, but since they want you to get your calories up, they're putting in all the bigger animals so that It'll progress faster. Let's mark this point here. Eat that hyena later. I'm trying to be all sneaky. But in real life, I don't think a golden retriever could take down a hyena. Look at him, just guarding my flag. This isn't your territory. Who do you think you are? Alright, so, we claim the territory, and this is where females come in. Yes, there is mating in this game. So hide the kitties. So 
So this is why we needed all the calories for this one girl because they're so picky. I like how they make you level up in this game. I mean, just by eating because, you know, I love to eat. So right now she doesn't want me. It has nothing to do with me. So we're gonna have to eat a lot of food. And the game just puts a whole bunch of animals out for you get to get your calories out. Which is perfect. Sometimes I feel like they're making it a bit too easy because in survival, they come to the difficulty way more than this. Perfect, we're a boss already. Alright, so now we get to go meet. And another cool thing they do, which you'll see in a second, is what happens after you meet. So all animals out of my way, I'm ready to go meet. So you'll have to, in survival, you'll have to continue generation after generation so that you don't die off. Because at age 15, your animal gets this old age alert and your hunger will decrease and until you can't eat like even if you do eat it's not going to count it because that's its way of saying you're dying of old age so we don't want that to happen so in this game you have to mate most of the animals you play as will be male but there are some animals which make you play as female which is also pretty cool and now we're another generation and look, we're puppies, which is just adorable and over time they grow and then you won't even realize it, but then they'll turn into adults and then you do the whole thing over again. So there you go, your intro to Tokyo Jungle, an amazing game. And my information comes from Rakdar and T-Bone 105, which are two amazing gamers. You should go check them out, pay a visit to their channel, definitely. They did a let's play of this game also, because you know, it's just an amazing game. Giving it a thumbs up, 10 out of 10. And alright, I guess that's pretty much it for now. Later we're going to be playing survival, so if you want to see me play as almost any animal, there's two I haven't unlocked, but most of them I have, and I would show you, but it's kind of spoiler, so I'll show you that in the next episode of Tokyo Jungle, but uh, it would be really helpful if you leave the like and the subscribe and comments, so I guess that's it for my first play session, see you next time guys.